Number 10. Olsi B. Heluli. In October of 2014, drug dealer Olsi B. Heluli posed for a picture that showed him flaunting roughly $293,000 in cash, the brunt of which he'd allegedly made by selling illegal substances. 24-year-old B. Heluli, along with two others from his organization, Besim Topali and Azem Proshka, were subsequently jailed after the police confiscated heroin and cocaine from their residence. B. Heluli had posted pictures on Twitter of him gambling and enjoying a luxurious lifestyle displaying wads of cash and bragging about the fortune he'd made from his criminal enterprise. Upon his arrest, B. Heluli denied that the money was his, claiming that it belonged to a relative of his in Albania. However, an analysis of the photos B. Heluli had posted proved that they'd been taken in an apartment that he'd previously rented in London. Investigators also came across what was used as a stash house, where they discovered more cash, drugs, counterfeit identity documents, and equipment related to trafficking. B. Heluli was convicted of conspiring to supply Class A drugs and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Topali and Proshka were given sentences of 10 years each after admitting to conspiracy to supply drugs, money laundering, and carrying fake identification. A judge ordered that upon the completion of their sentences, the men were to be deported back to Albania. Number 9. Arlando Henderson On December the 4th of 2019, North Carolina man Arlando Henderson was arrested for stealing $88,000 from the bank where he worked. A picture of the 29-year-old was found on social media showing him posing with the ill-gotten money. When his employers became suspicious, the FBI got involved and launched an investigation. It revealed that Henderson had been able to pill for the considerable sum because he'd had direct access to the vault. There were at least 18 different times when he'd stolen cash from deposits that the bank's customers had made. He'd deposited some of it in an ATM not far from his work. According to the authorities, Henderson's motive for stealing the money was for his own personal expenses, including making a $20,000 down payment on a Mercedes-Benz. He had presented falsified documents and bank statements in order to do so. The pictures he posted of himself flaunting wads of cash and showing off his new luxury car were what ultimately led the police to him. Henderson was arrested and charged with two counts of financial institution fraud, 19 counts of theft, embezzlement and misapplication and 12 counts of making false entries, which meant a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison and a $1 million fine per each count. He was also charged with transactional money laundering for which he faced 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Number 8. Oscar Otero Aguilar In July of 2014, a man from Mexico City was drinking with his friends when he decided to play with a gun that belonged to one of them. 21-year-old Oscar Otero Aguilar wanted to take a selfie with the firearm and upload it to Facebook, but he was unaware that the gun was loaded. As he posed with it, he accidentally pulled the trigger and shot himself in the head. Neighbors heard the commotion and called the police. When they arrived at the scene, Aguilar was still alive and was consequently rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. However, his injuries proved too severe and he died on the way. Number 7. Michelle Lewin Venezuelan fitness model Michelle Lewin was bitten on the backside by a pig in the Bahamas. On February the 12th of 2019, she'd gone to an uninhabited area specifically to take pictures with feral pigs that lived there. As the 32-year-old was being recorded frolicking and twirling on the beach, a group of pigs came up to her. One of the animals then bit her directly on her backside. Lewin began screaming and running away as the pigs chased her, while largely unscathed. She did emerge from the incident with a cautionary souvenir in the form of a red bike mark that eventually turned into a bruise. Number 6. Javiara Corneo In March of 2019, a young girl named Javiara Corneo suffered a serious injury while in the process of taking a selfie in her bathroom. In a recording that captured the incident, Corneo was seen posing for a picture when her younger brother suddenly opened the door unaware that she was inside. 
The door hit the girl directly in the face and caused her to fall at an awkward angle, resulting in her needing to be rushed to the hospital. Corneo was told she'd suffered a broken neck and had to use a brace to heal. She went on to make a full recovery, but the incident generated a lot of negative attention from her followers. They called Corneo derogatory names for the type of suggestive content she was making, and her Instagram account has since been deleted. Number 5. Jaime Alvarez on July the 7th of 2019, a man from California was participating in the annual running of the bulls in Pamplona, Spain, where he was impaled by a bull after ignoring rules that prohibited taking pictures or videos during the event. 46-year-old Jaime Alvarez had already completed the 850-meter run before jumping on a protective fence as the group of bulls were charging by him. Once the animals had passed, Alvarez returned to the arena thinking that it was safe to take out his phone to film. It was then that a lone bull suddenly appeared and charged him. The bull stabbed him in the neck with its horn and fractured his cheekbone. Following the injury, paramedics on site rushed Alvarez to the hospital, where doctors were amazed at how closely the horn had missed his jugular vein. He underwent surgery for over two hours and despite remaining in critical condition after the procedure, he eventually made a full recovery. Alvarez wasn't the only injured bull runner on the day as two other men were reported to have suffered wounds to their thighs. Aware of the event's risks, Pamplona had at the time passed laws making it illegal to take videos, photos or, or even hold a distracting device in one's hand on the course. Anyone caught breaking the law risked a fine of up to $4,100. Number 4. Incident in Uttar Pradesh, India While attending a festival in September of 2016, an unnamed schoolgirl from Uttar Pradesh, India was trying to take a selfie in front of a ferris wheel. As she posed for the camera, she got too close to the attraction and her long hair got caught in the spinning wheel. The ride partially scalped her, leaving her barely conscious as onlookers rushed over to free her from the machine. In a short video that was taken at the scene, the girl's friend was seen trying to comfort her as blood from her injured head soaked her clothing. Eventually, the schoolgirl was freed from the ride and rushed to a nearby hospital where she received treatment for the injury. She was able to heal and make a full recovery. Number 3. Platini Stallone de la Torre Cordoso a 22-year-old Brazilian man living in London posted pictures of himself showing off bundles of cash that he'd made by forging identity documents in July of 2010. When the British Transport Police pulled Cordoso over during a stop-and-search operation, they found two forged Portuguese identification cards and driver's licenses. They arrested him and obtained a search warrant for his apartment, where they discovered equipment used for making forged passports, ID cards, and insurance cards. Among the equipment were stamps, printers, blank cards, paper cutters, and other equipment that Cordoso had used to produce and sell false identity documents. Police also discovered several hundred capsules of a Class C substance that they suspected were also being sold by Cordoso. As the investigation progressed, police found out that Cordoso had opened up bank accounts using the forged documents he'd created, selling both the counterfeit documents and bank accounts as a package deal to his customers. Based on the pictures that he'd posted, police described Cordoso as having a total disregard for the law. He was sentenced to four years in jail after pleading guilty to four counts of possessing false identification documents, one count of possessing apparatus for making false documents, and one count of possessing a controlled substance. Following the completion of his sentence, Cordoso was deported to Brazil. Today's topic was requested by Ivares Kessner, if you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Jack Fenton On July the 25th of 2022, British tourist Jack Fenton was killed by the tail rotor of a helicopter in Greece while he was taking a picture. During a tour heading to Athens, the 22-year-old was accompanied by three friends in the same helicopter while his parents were following in a second helicopter behind them. After Fenton landed at his destination, he got out and began walking around to the back of the helicopter with his phone in his hand trying to take a picture 
No longer focused on his surroundings, Fenton was struck by the aircraft's rear rotor and killed instantly. The helicopter carrying his parents was redirected to land at another location to avoid them seeing their deceased son. Following the incident, the pilot was arrested and charged with manslaughter. Police argue that there was no circumstance under which a passenger should have been allowed to get out of the helicopter while the rotor blades were still moving. It would have taken the blades around two minutes to stop after the engine had been turned off. An investigation was launched to determine whether or not the pilot had instructed the passengers to prematurely exit the aircraft. Number 1. K. Sanjeev A young Indian man from Tamil Nadu was taking a selfie when he fell into an irrigation well on May the 14th of 2021. The 20-year-old only identified as K. Sanjeev had been visiting a nearby farm with friends when he hopped onto a tractor. Witnesses later claimed that after starting the vehicle, he began taking selfies on his cell phone. Then as the tractor started to move backwards, Sanjeev fell into a well which was 120 feet deep and filled with 35 feet of water. Farm workers called police and fire rescue services for help. Eight officers arrived on the scene, but it was too late to save Sanjeev, who drowned in the well. The officers worked for four hours to drain it before they were able to retrieve the young man's body. Thanks for watching. Would you rather pose for a picture with your mother-in-law, with both of you wearing nothing but underwear, or pose with a rattlesnake lying on top of you? Let us know in the comments section below.